Hello everyone and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I am delighted to have you here with me as always. It's time for my match preview for Liverpool versus Nottingham Forest. So I'm going to go through how I think the game's going to go. I'm going to give you a score prediction and I'm going to give you a lineup prediction. If you do enjoy my content, please hit a like on any one of my videos or on all of my videos. It would be perfect. And also, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to get and also hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post new content. I do videos like this for every game, watch along streams and a few other bits and pieces. And I hope you enjoy the content. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first up, my match preview, like how I think the game is going to go. Um, I think Liverpool are going to win it. Um, I've just been having a look through, obviously, form this season, we've been incredible. Liverpool has been quite refreshing under Arnie Slot. Three wins, three games, three wins, three clean sheets, Salah with three goals, Diaz with three goals. It's just it's quite incredible, really, so far. And also a big win last time out against biggest rivals, Manchester United, at Old Trafford as well. Really impressive result. Really happy with the way things are. And I think normal service will resume again. I think it'll be very similar. I've just had a look back and seen how Forrest are currently doing. They've got um, yeah, I've got, got it wrote down here. So this season, they've drawn two and lost one. They've drawn 1-1 one -one with Bournemouth, 1-1 one -one with Wolves, and then a 1-0 win at Southampton. So not particularly great. And also, if you watch my um, season preview video before the season even kicked off, I do actually have in my prediction for Forrest to be relegated this season. They finish 18th in my prediction. Whether that'll happen or not, we don't know. So, yeah, Forrest, they were quite a tricky customer last season. And I've just watched the highlights as well of the last time out. Um, Liverpool uh, beat them 1-0. You might remember it for that really last-minute Darwin Nunes header. Everybody was going crazy because there was controversy a few minutes before with a drop ball situation from the referee went the opposite way to what it should have. Then a couple of minutes later, Liverpool score. A um, couple of minutes is a lot of time in football. Um, yeah, I suppose, you know, depending on what side of the fence you sit on, depends on how aggravated you are by that. Um, obviously, Liverpool with a very big three points, Darwin Nunes with that header. But throughout that game, it was very even. They were quite a tricky customer. Um... They had the likes of Origi, um, Awanyi, and Alanga, and they all seemed to click really well. Um, their attack, they, they were quite a threat up front. So I, I, I can see that happening again like this season. They can be a tricky customer for people. But like I say, with the way we've started this season, I just think it's going to be a walk in the park for Liverpool. Um, so with that said, let me get into my score prediction. I'm going to go with the same score as last time out. I'm going to go with 3-0. Um, I'd love to see a clean sheet. I'd love to see three points, three nil. But at the end of the day, three points is three points. Even if it was one nil, I'd be happy. But uh, there's just something about us. We we can create chances from nothing and very quick in the turnover in possession, getting forward once we turn over possession, quick breaks. And I'm enjoying watching it again. It's a, a bit of vitality in the team and it's, it's nice to watch. So that's why I'm going with three nil. I'd love to see... For Salah score again, that would be fantastic. Four goals in four games. Um, so yeah, three nil is my prediction. If you guys have any predictions as well, please leave them in the comments or comment on any of my um, posts that I do about the game. And um, also, I will be live for the game tomorrow. Kickoff is at three o'clock. Um, look out for this um, thumbnail on YouTube. Um, I will be live. Kickoff at three o'clock from Anfield. I'll be live just a little bit beforehand, you know, and I'll bring you updates of the game as it happens, you know, goals, offsides, cards, anything that happens. Everybody is welcome. And you can get in the chat there and have a conversation with me there as well. So now I'm going to put up my lineup prediction. And, well, you can either agree with me or disagree with me. Let me know, as again, what you think. But it's the same as what started against Manchester United. There was a bit of concerns about McAllister. Um, he did pick up a knock or something uh, for the second game for Argentina. But Arnie Slot says that hopefully he's going to be there and he's he's counting on him, basically. Um, and he is an unbelievable player. We do need him in the team. Um, it would be <sighs> nice to get through an international break without receiving any injuries. And of course, 
Um, the likes of Curtis Jones and Harvey Elliott still injured, so we won't be seeing any of them. So my lineup um, is as follows. Is Allison in between the sticks, of course. World's number one keeper. Why wouldn't you? Robertson at left back. Virgil van Dijk and Kanate in at centre back. Trent on the right hand side, of course. Two fantastic performances. Good to see him looking good in an England shirt. Two man of the match performances from two games for England. That's unbelievable. Finally being deployed in the position he should be deployed in. And yeah, looking good. So good bit of confidence boost for him as well. You know, and yeah, now he can come back to Liverpool and play the real football. Um, then, of course, double pivot. I've got Gravenberg and McAllister in. That is, of course, if McAllister starts. I did mention that injury, but Arnie Slot is, seems to think he'll be there. So Gravenberg and McAllister. Also, Gravenberg coming back from international duty after putting in some great performances as well for Holland, which is great to see. You know, it's about time he started getting the game time and started being acknowledged for what we've seen last season. I've seen quite a bit from him that I really enjoyed. I just felt that he needed to mature a bit. And just get that game time. Slot sees it in him. Slot trusts him. Slot will play him. And yeah, it's good for him to get that call up into the Holland squad and perform there as well for them. Then the midfield three. I've got Soboslai in the middle. Diaz on the left wing. Salah on the right wing. That's just the way it's going to be. Diaz is a tricky player to play against. He's full of running, full of trickery, bit of guile. Just his finishing... Obviously, he scored three goals already this season. It's great. Two against United. Fantastic. But he he requires a lot of chances in order to get the end product. Like, there's a lot of work for him to get the end product. If he could, like, become a bit more clinical, then we'd have an absolute monster on our hands. Salah, again, three games, three goals. He's going to start. He's, you know, he's Mo Salah. And then up top, I've gone with Diogo Jota as well. Of course, he can just bag a goal. Um, he hasn't since the first game, but he's just the way he links up with the other two, just having him on the pitch, he's just a threat constantly. So he's got to start for me. So that's my lineup prediction. So in full, that is Allison, Robertson, Van Dijk, Kanate, Trent, McAllister, Gravenberg, Diaz, Soboslai, Salah, and then Jota. And let me know how. How you think I did, guys? Get in the comments if you make any changes, if you think anything's going to happen. Or we're going to see any any difference. Do you think we'll see Nunes? I don't know. Or maybe Gakpo starting on the left. Who knows? If you've got any ideas or if you think I've gone wrong, get it in the comments. I'm happy to have a discussion with you. Thank you very much for watching and catch me in the live stream. Until then, up the fucking reds.